hello and welcome to a brand new video here on my channel we are back i am very excited this is love island the game 2 episode 10 this is part of volume 4 i think it's gonna be really exciting we have a recoupling which by the way can i just say i'm stressed about the idea of someone going home i'm stressed about it i also want to say a massive thank you to the lovely community here over on twitch we're actually filming this live so i can talk to you guys and get a little bit of a, an opinion going about what's happening so thank you so much everyone who's joined us over on twitch if you would like to uh, my twitch link is always in the description twitch.tv slash ashley amelia and uh, we'd love to see you over there we're gonna get on to the video let's see what this one's all about this part of volume 4 episode 10 is called bye bye baby choose a partner but brace yourself for one islander leaving forever I'm so nervous. Welcome back to Love Island. Last time in the villa, Angie shared her opinions of the new islanders. Ronal reminds me of a yappy little puppy. Jade and Najuma are playing an ice cold prank on the boys. We're gonna steal the boys' claws and put them in the freezer. And Kobe came clean to Jade about how he felt. Please don't pick me tonight. Ouch. Last time I was pied off like that, I buried my feelings in ice cream for days. Now it's time for tonight's recoupling. I'm choosing, let's get in there. This is so stressful! With a big recoupling on the horizon, there's an all-important question that Angie needs to ask the girls. Who's pinched my nail varnish? Oh, are you still wearing that black stuff? You should try another look. Angie rolls her eyes. Lexi thinks Angie needs a new manicure. <laughs> Change yours, Lexi. Maybe you need a bit of variety. Lexi tuts. You can tell a lot about a girl by her nails. Najuma gives you a sidelong look and bites back into a giggle. But here have you. She turns back to Lexi. Back to my nails. What did you mean by that? Lexi admires her own nails. They're perfectly manicured. You can tell how much someone looks after themselves or whether they're happy to sit back and let life happen to them. Me, I don't have time to take off massive nails for work. Does that mean I don't look after myself? Lexi turns back to the mirror and carries on fixing her hair. I didn't say that, babes. Just that hands are the window to the heart. Lexi thinks hands are the window to the heart. And the nipples are the eyes of the face? Lexi raises an eyebrow at you in the mirror. The tumor and Angie burst out laughing. Hey, I'm not joking around. It's not my fault if some of us aren't as observant as the others. I think you're reading a lot into this. More importantly, she holds up a bottle triumphantly. Here it is. She starts repainting her nails at top speed. How do you do that so fast? I'm used to getting off work and going straight out. You gotta be quick or you're late to the party. Tarby sprays bergamot perfume into the air and then walks through it. Oh, can I have a bit of that? It smells so nice on you. Of course. It might smell a bit different on you though. Body chemistry changes things a lot. Najuma sprays a little bit on her wrist, sniffs and wrinkles her nose. Oh, you're right. I read about signature scents, but I haven't found mine yet. What do you need one for? Najuma shrugs. Maybe so as people can know who you are in the dark. Tabby giggles. Maybe that would work if there was a dog following you. Speaking of which, I sniffed something out. Angie, you were chatting a lot with Bruno today. Why are we bringing attention to this, Najuma? Is it my rejection for you that has turned you into a person who is going to set up Angie and Bruno because I'm not here for that. It should be Jade and Bruno. Jade and Bruno. I'm not getting obsessive about this at all. Or you noticed when you were creeping past us? Najuma shares a knowing look with you. I have no idea what you're talking about. So are you into Bruno then? Angie combs her fingers through her hair. I don't know. He's a laugh though. Would Angie and Bruno work together? Keep away, he's mine. I don't want you on my territory. Angie raises an eyebrow at you in the mirror. I didn't want that. Well, he's into strong women, so keep up that attitude and he'll be all over you. I'm sorry, that was a bit too much. I wasn't expecting that. Someone knocks at the door. You haven't seen our claws, have you? Speak of the devil. She puts her hand over her mouth to stifle a giggle. The guys are saying I tidied them away somewhere weird, but I swear I didn't. Najuma's eyes sparkle as she looks at you. Where could they be? Bruno and Hazim look confused. I don't know where the boys' clothes have gone. I have no idea either. You put on your best poker face. Gosh, I wonder where they could have gone. Azim looks at you, then Najuma, and then back again. I'll have another look. Still looking confused, they head out. Quiet descends onto the dressing room. You can hear every spray, every shift of movement. You can even hear Angie finger combing her hair. 
No one wants to talk about the elephant in the room, do they? I'll say it. Night, a boy's going home. And Kobe doesn't want to couple up again. Aw, babe. Yeah, well, I wonder if he realises that he might be dumped because of that. I don't know if I'm ready to say goodbye to someone just yet. Feels so quick, but also, like, we've been in here forever. Let's think about that when we get out of here. For now, it's time to get dressed up. Okay, we have to pick an outfit. Okay, I think I'm happy with this outfit. Let's see what happens. I guess this works for tonight. Lexi gasps. I got a text. Girls, the power is in your hands. Please gather at the fire pit for a recoupling. Hashtag everything to play for. Hashtag turn up the heat. Are you ready, girls? Let's get out there. You sit around the fire pit with the girls waiting for the boys to arrive. Bruno emerges first with a bouncy stride. Then Yusuf struts out. Kobe and Hazim are next, chatting to each other. Finally, Will and James trail behind you. Will is shivering a little. Maybe it's a fashion thing? Hazim wriggles his shoulders. It's like when someone drops ice down your bag, but all over me. Oh, because their clothes are freezing. How did I forget that had happened? We just spoke about it. Beside you, Najuma lets out a loud laugh. Feeling chill here, boys. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, I just think we look ice cold. Azim winks at you. He winks at me? I don't know what happened, but I feel like uh, Najuma had something to do with it. I have zero idea what you're talking about. I think the joke is on the girls anyway, to be honest. My shirt looks great after a little chill. I never have got the collar so sharp myself. A phone beeps. That's me. Each girl will now choose someone to couple up with. Any boys left single at the end of the night will be vulnerable and will face being dumped from the island tonight. Hashtag moment of truth. Hashtag couple up or clear out. You and the girls look at each other waiting for the next text. Then you hear the beep. It's not your phone. If it's Angie's phone, I might have a little cry. If she picks Bruno, I might have a little cry. If we don't couple up with Bruno, I might have a little cry. It's about it really. And just like that, the background has changed. Oh, it's mine. She stands up looking excited. I feel a bit conflicted about this one, knowing that one of the guys is going home tonight, but the boy I want to pick is funny off the wall and I think we've got a real connection. So the boy I'm choosing is Will. Good for Tarby, good for Tarby. Will's face lights up. When she goes to stand next to him, he gives her a big hug. We have a new couple, or the same couple? Were they coupled up before? But anyway, Tarby and Will. Aren't they actually such an attractive couple? Tabby and Will are coupled up. They're meant to be. I get the feeling he helps Tabby come out of her shell. Maybe they'll last. Another phone beeps. Lexi squeals. I'm next. <laughs> she stands up and looks at all the boys. It's been a tough road for me and this boy. I had no idea we'd be broken apart so soon after we found each other. But I'm so happy I can finally say the boy I'm choosing tonight is... Kobe. She trots over to Kobe, who picks her up and spins her around, laughing. She makes me so mad. When she's back on the ground, she smiles over at you. I just hope we can all be friends after this. New couple, Lexi and Kobe. To be fair to them, they make a good couple. And it means Kobe gets to stay in the game, which is a good thing. Lexi wants us all to be friends. <laughs> I hope you're happy, babe. You guys are like the perfect couple. Amazing. Your phone beeps. It's us. It's us. It's us. It's us. I'm so excited. Do we get to pick Bruno? Who knows, but I'm really happy. <laughs> this is where all of my hopes just come crushing down, don't they? I'm next up. Azim and Yusuf don't seem too interested in coupling up with me. And even if I wanted to go for Kobe, he's taken. You look over at him, but he does not look back at you. So I've got the rest of the boys to choose from. And Najuma. I'm sorry, I just predicted that line. And Najuma. You stand up and face the group. The first time I coupled up, I didn't know the villa very well. Now I've got the lay of the land, I know who I'll pick. This person is so sweet. Azim and Bruno glance at each other. Najuma jiggles her knees up and down, looking like she's on tenterhooks. Angie takes her hand firmly. And I really like the way this person has the best chat. The boys exchange looks. Why am I getting nervous? I'm pretty sure I know who I'm gonna pick. But yeah, I'm still like, who's she gonna choose? Najuma catches your eye, then glances away. You take a deep breath. I'm choosing... We've got Bruno, James, or Najuma. I really want to pick Bruno. I would do a poll to see what you think, but honestly, I feel like a lot of you are going to choose Najuma. I really want to pick Bruno. Belle says Team Bruno all the way. <laughs> Referee says Bruno. I'm choosing. I'm really scared to click on it. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I'm choosing Bruno. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. New couple, Jade and Bruno, which again, I do find it slightly aggravating that they don't put Jade in the picture. But we've done it, we've coupled up with 
Bruno, I'm so excited. I am so, so hyped. I don't know why exactly, but I was so, so hyped. Bruno fist pumps the air as you go to stand next to him. I was so hyped for tonight. This was the best way it could have gone. I've coupled up with Bruno. I am gonna kiss his cheek. I love his shirt, by the way. Can I just say, it's very haunted mansion. You lean close and peck Bruno's cheek. He gives you a huge smile. A phone beeps. Oh, that's me. I forgot there was the rest of the recoupling to go. <laughs> She stands up. Well, it's been a weird couple of days. I've been getting to know this guy better and I'm starting to wonder if we could make it work. That's why I'm going for James. That's so good. She's coming up with James. Angie and James, new couple. She strides over to him and pecks him on the cheek. Bruno murmurs to you. Do you reckon they'll work together? Angie and James. They seem to get along. I wonder if that's enough here in the villa. Bruno looks thoughtful. You never know. Sometimes you get sparks when you don't expect them. Najuma is the last girl sitting by the fire pit. Oh yeah! Yeah, Hazim or Yusuf. Although, if she doesn't pick Yusuf, I will be actually quite mad at Najuma. I feel like Najuma and Yusuf are fiery, passionate. Hazim is like the sensible choice, but Yusuf is like, they could... Oh, they could make an excellent romance story. As soon as her phone beeps, she jumps up. Azim and Yusuf are the two remaining boys. For the first time, Yusuf looks nervous. This is a tough decision. I wish I wasn't going last. It's so nerve-wracking to know my choice means someone's at risk of going home. She takes a deep breath. But this guy gives me butterflies every time we chat. I get such a thrill when he looks at me. And that's why I'm choosing. Who do we think she's going to choose? Who do we think she's going to choose? I feel like she's going to pick Hazim because he's been there from the beginning. But I don't know. Yuka versus France. And that's why I'm choosing Yusuf. <gasps> yes! Bye-bye, Hazim. Enjoy your naughty yoga at home. This isn't a Juma and Yusuf. Come on, don't just... They are the most attractive couple who's ever existed in the world. I'm sorry, I very much ship Jade and Bruno, but they are not a patch on Najuma and Yusuf. They are not a patch. I'm sorry, Hazim. I have to go for a chance at love. Yusuf walks over to her and she goes on tiptoes to kiss his cheek. Azim looks disappointed, but not shocked. His phone beeps. Azim, you are the last single boy and it's time for you to leave the villa. Hashtag boy bye. Hashtag it's been a blast. Oh mate, I can't believe you'll be going. Azim gives him a small smile. Azim's dumped. <laughs> Whatever, can you imagine? Okay, I hope you find love. Yeah, same. To be fair, Hazim, you had your chance with us. We made it very clear we were into you and you decided to go for your heart. So hopefully you have a chance at finding love on the outside. His eyes are warm as he smiles at you. It's been a whole lot of fun. I'll miss your naughty yoga sessions so much. They gave us such good energy. Totally. I'm guided not to do it anymore. You can do them again without me. I believe in you. It won't be the same. Azim smiles at her and takes a deep breath. Well, I need to get cracking. Can't leave my best beard all behind, can I? He starts to head towards the villa. Azim's getting ready to leave. This is my last chance for some alone time with him. Do I follow him? Okay. It's a gem option. Are we okay to have a poll in chat? Do we follow him? Yes or no? Just spend the gems. We gotta spend the gems. We gotta spend the gems. Let's follow Azim in and help him pack. You race to catch up with Hazim. Wait for me! He turns, looking surprised but pleased. Oh, that's sweet of you. Here we go, we're in the bedroom. The lights come on as you and Hazim enter the bedroom. Hazim pauses for a second, looking a little lost. Well, this night's surreal, isn't it? Part of me was hoping I was wrong, but I kind of saw this coming. Azim saw this coming. You're just saying that. Next time you'll be telling me you knew Tabby would pick Will. He smiles lopsidedly. Love a lopsided smile. I'm not just a pretty face. He starts making his and Najuma's bed and pulls out his pajama bottoms. They're tangled up with a pair of Najuma's shorts. Uh oh. Don't want to steal these. He carefully shakes the shorts free. It's wild, isn't it? I never normally sleep in a bed with someone I only just met. But in here, it's just the way it is. Azim doesn't normally sleep in a bed with someone he's just met. I don't normally do much sleeping. Azim laughs. Cheeky. I don't know how much you can properly get to know someone that way. Normally I do it by just going to the gym together or something. You get to know someone by going to the gym? Sure. You can't really know someone until you've done circuit training together. He takes out a shirt and starts bundling it into a suitcase. Then he pauses and folds more neatly. If I messed my shirts up on TV, my mum would never let me hear the end of it. Azim's mum wouldn't want him to mess up his shirts. Mine's the same. Azim grins, his eyes crinkling. This is one thing that Fusebox do that absolutely inf- infuriates me infuriates me fuse box you know hazim's going home why are you making my heartstrings hurt why am i being 
pulled on in so many different directions right now and I know for a fact that he is so not interested in us although if we get a chance for a cheeky kiss I might have to say yes I don't think we will though I don't think he's into us in that way <sighs> Hazim why we had so much potential then you know why I wouldn't want to cross her his face softens as he zips up the suitcase It'll be nice to catch up with everyone outside the villa. Not that I won't miss the islanders, but it feels like a long time away. Is there anyone you're looking forward to seeing when you leave? Do I miss anyone outside the villa? I miss... I miss my family. Sometimes I want to text them something and then it feels weird that I can't yet. I get ya. He picks up his heart rate challenge outfit, holds it up against himself and laughs. I'll, uh, I'll leave this one here. I bet someone will get a kick out of it. He looks around the room and nods. Yeah. I think that's me done. I hope my flat's not too cold when I get back. Yeah, your plants will have grown loads. You realise how close you're standing to Hazim. Oh my goodness, are we going to get a chance to do some kissing kissing? His deep eyes catch the light. The moment stretches out. He clears his throat, glances away from your face and looks back to you. So we should uh, probably get back out there, right? Hazim's about to leave. I'm going to have to kiss him. I'm going to kiss Hazim. I've made up my mind. I can't help it. Jade wants what she can't have. It doesn't matter. He's leaving, right? We've, we've only just coupled up with Bruno. I don't feel like we're cheating on Bruno at this stage. I know we just got Bruno. I know we just got Bruno. But also, if, we, if we've coupled up with Bruno, but we kiss Hazim, it might cause some drama down the line. And that could also be quite fun. We're going to kiss him. You put a hand to Hazim's cheek. His beard is rough against your palm. His eyes widen. Do you think things could have been different? I'm getting so excited. Oh dear. He swallows. Maybe. If I'd have been there from the start. Is anyone else feeling the tension building? Is it just me? You thread your fingers through his hair and his breath catches. We can't know any of that, but we can see what it would have been like. Azim smiles softly at you. He takes your hand in his, placing your fingers together. He slowly raises your hand to his lips and turns it to gently nuzzle your wrist. You and Hazim look deeply into each other's eyes. A warmth washes over you as he leans in and slowly kisses you. His lips are so soft as if he's caressing your mouth with his kiss. After moments of bliss, Hazim leans away and meets your eyes again. His gaze is tender. How are you always so amazing? <laughs> Hazim! Hazim is being so smooth. And how much more romantic can you get? There's so much more where that came from. <laughs> oh my god! Oh really? You're gonna sweep me off my feet? Yeah, but I can do more than sweep. <laughs> Sorry. His free hand moves to cup your cheek and tenderly strokes your jaw with his thumb. You grin at each other and chuckle softly. I don't know if that was a good idea, but I'm glad it happened. We should definitely catch up after you leave. Plant bingo at your place? Oh, now that could be fun. He takes a deep breath. Let's get out of here. You and Hazim emerge from the villa to see the other islanders waiting for you. They clap and cheer as you approach. Kobe's the first to give him a hug and clap him on the back. I can't believe you're the first to go. I totally thought it'd be me. Hey! He pats Kobe's cheek. Don't talk about my mate Kobe like that. You'll smash it. James gives him a hug and then Angie comes forward. I'll buy you a beer next time you're in Bradford. As long as we can do a yoga session the next morning. Perfect hangover cure. She groans. That's the only thing I won't miss about having you around. Angie's glad there won't be any more yoga sessions. I'll carry on the legacy. I'll figure something out somehow. Azim grins at you. Good to know. I'll help you, Jade. Oh no, oh no, my heart. We just cheated on Bruno. <laughs> I'm like a 180. How do we do that? How could we do that to Bruno? What was wrong with me? Why did you make me do that? <laughs> My Twitch chat just made me cheat on Bruno with Hazim. I will never forgive you. I saw that session on TV. It was such a laugh. I was like, I have to do that kind of yoga. You can come to Felix Stone and give it a try. It's a deal. Hazim, how can you have a conversation with Bruno like that after you've just kissed the person he's coupled up with? Hazim's phone beeps. Hazim, it's time for you to leave the villa. Please say your goodbyes. Hashtag goodbye gardener, he sighs. It's been a lot of fun. Let's catch up after the summer, yeah? We have to. I want to meet your iguana. She'd love to meet you, mate. Bring some crickets for her. She'll love you forever. Oh, that's so cute. I never knew you were into dead insects. If you've got a boy one, they could have babies. Oh, I get it. You're angling for a baby iguana. Well, I can tell you that her flattery gets you everywhere. Tabby looks totally delighted. Azim wants to catch up when the summer's over. You better have some good stories. Have fun out there. That's all I'm saying. Azim starts to say something, then hesitates. His gaze drifts over to your mouth but you don't think any of the islanders notice. Have a good summer, you lot. Be seeing you out in the world. He strides off into the darkness. Beside you, Bruno sighs. He came off like a good guy. Wish I could have got to know him.
He glances at Yusuf. No offense or anything. I love French models too. None taken. The best man won is how it goes. Hey, just because I chose you doesn't mean you're the best man. Oh, I'm the worst man then. I can work with that. She laughs and kisses him. In the distance, Hazim turns and waves. Bruno moves to take your hand. Bruno's about to take my hand. I am gonna hold his hand. I'm gonna hold his hand. You lace your fingers through his. His hand is very soft. He squeezes back. Together, you watch Hazim disappear into the night. I've got something in my eye. We'll always have those dungarees, Hazim. Hazim's time in the villa is now over, but for the rest of the islanders, their summer has just got going. Next time, Jade turns up the heat. You really are cheeky. And Angie starts dropping hints. What day is the wedding? Don't miss it. Okay, so I think we did really well. I'm so happy with the outcome of that. I'm so happy with the outcome. That was so intense. Thank you so much everyone for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a like and subscribe down below so that you can catch the latest episodes when they go live. Don't forget, we are currently recording these over on our Twitch channel live. So if you want to be there to help make some of the best decisions, make sure you click again, the link down below in the description, twitch.tv slash Ashley Amelia, and you can be there to make some of the tough decisions for us thank you so much for watching everyone i hope you had a lovely time please leave your comments down below let me know if you were here for the live stream let me know what you thought let me know what you think about hazim going home which absolutely breaks my heart but let me know and i will see you next time everyone goodbye